Welcome to another video by RoboSheep. This time we're talking about the Segway and time has definitely not stood still. Here is our progress combined with highly positive advancements from the manufacturer that are very encouraging. You observe the object behind me while mowing and you can recollect the protrusions where he is right now, where he dug up everything in my video. Let me explain where we were not satisfied with the weight distribution, the traction of the wheels and the slipping and where we definitely had our problems at that point. Yes, as you can see on the wheels, there have been some significant alterations. We've had an odometry package in development for a while. You know it from the first videos. Once again, you can see the importance of odometry. Simply put, with this performance, as you can see from the turn right in front of me, we have a completely different robot. Suddenly nothing slips anymore, suddenly no more lawn gets damaged. And what is even more important in wireless navigation, the odometry. The odometry abruptly starts functioning because you see we now have two effects at play here. Once the function of the camera of which we are known to not think much of. And then there's this odometry which actually allows him to follow any path purely based on the movements of the wheels. I intentionally had him drive to this location at this moment. All of you are aware, based on my wireless videos, of the challenges we truly face with RTK. Consequently, the combination of RTK, camera and odometry without the slips through the professional package at this current point in time leads to us actually not encountering any further issues on the property with the RTK shadows present in that specific area of concern. Regarding the impressive images, I would like to emphasize once again that you can see the difference between left and right with a mounted odometry package. With the wheels slipping and whooshing, of course, the lawn is ruined and the odometry is shot. Unthinkable accomplished. The performance of odometry is remarkable at present, even in a scenario where a camera provides no assistance whatsoever. You can also see impressively in this narrow passage back there, we have a complete RTK shadow. You can see this RTK shadow in the overlay by the blinking blue disc. This means that there is no RTK available at all. And in this narrow passage, multiple turns in a row are necessary, yet it does not lose its position. As I said, these quick turns don't help him at all because his camera is essentially for object avoidance and also for recognizing the edges. Amazing development with the Segway. We'll take a closer look at the app itself shortly. It was indeed one of the best RTK apps, as we acknowledged last year. And now they have added some great new features, such as the ability to change loops and program the direction of the tracks. Does the downside remain the cut in the image? When you look at the overlay, how it looks over at the neighbor's place with an ancient zucchini that's now over 10 years old, but it also has a sturdy knife inside, cannot be expected from a blade cutting unit, especially not from a first gen blade cutting unit like the one he has. The rides appear to be somewhat cool, but the map itself still doesn't really manage to impress me. Be that as it may, a huge step forward, I would say. And of course, the machine at all our locations now includes this odometry package, and that really makes a different robot out of you available. I'm looking forward to seeing you all in our stores where you're riding behind me now. The blue Solide disc naturally lights up. This means we have a strong RTK reception, and I'd like to take this opportunity to walk through this property and show you what's currently mowable here with an RTK system, what's practically mowable with the Segway. So let's take a little walk. The spot behind me at the moment, which I want to mark for you, through the trees we have up there, take a look. When we ascend, we notice that it is heavily covered by the trees. An RTK system is unable to operate in this area. You see, it also turns around behind me beforehand because the area, about three square meters on this surface, that you have to mow with the lawn mower. Yes, and in that area next to the neighbor, we're now taking a walk and you can see the difference. Here begins the cross section of the old Zucchetti. It's 10 years old and this is how it looks. 
but now we are focusing on RTK. So in this area, the function would be possible with RTK. And down below behind the swing, we have an additional area that is definitely inaccessible with RTK because the tree cover above creates an excessive amount of radio shadow, which poses a significant challenge for us. Yes, let's continue. Here behind me in the mowing strip, I easily got the Segway to drive, but as I mentioned, if I subject my father-in-law to the cross-section of a blade cutter after a few years of Zucchetti Farmer's sickle, he'll chase me away with a wet rag, as they say so nicely in Austria. That is impressive. Make the switch to the other area and be wowed. That is exactly how it should look when using a robotic lawnmower. This is wired, of course, a 10-year-old Zuhetta with a Bauer sickle, as I have already mentioned. Yes, and in this case, we come across the following point where we completely miss the mark with RTK technology. You can already see up there is a beautiful tree, a hedge that gets wet in the fall, and the lawn extends under these trees. And thus, the situation that is behind me with RTK truly cannot be reported by any means just doesn't work. You have to stay several square meters outside. Even the camera won't help you with the green green. Yes, in summary, my beloved ones, what am I supposed to say to you, my dear ones? I'm at a loss for words. Great advancements with this RTK mower, good conditions for the Segway, but as mentioned, still not quite suitable for this total 700 square meter property to move around freely. For each RTK system, evaluate the property. That is precisely the purpose of our presence. We know what works, what doesn't work, and we can provide a fairly accurate idea of what you need to do next. Please don't buy anything impulsively. RTK is well suited for large open areas. Despite all the camera support and everything around it, it has its really massive pitfalls as soon as it looks like that. And the crux is precisely on such a small plot, didn't want to mow again and wanted to have a perfect cutting pattern. And then one must ask oneself whether a much more elaborate real-time kinematic RTK installation compared to a one-hour cable laying really makes sense. However, that is ultimately up to the customer's discretion. Of course, we will provide everything necessary to you for the installation. Mm -hmm.